Are we here? Are we here? Image. Um, then we have Tressa, our merchant girl. Her story is all about finding a little um, journal, and she's trying to track down the story of this man who wrote the journal. And then she, oh, man, then she, you know, wants to go off and write her own. She's a merchant, so she's following around finding all these goods in the meantime, making friends. Sorry, I was cutting onions before this. My god, my eyes are just... Now it's getting to me. Uh, we have Ulbrich, who's kind of this Macduff and Macbeth situation. He was protecting a king, who then died under his stead, got betrayed, and so, in disgrace, he, he went off to this one village, and now he's going to go and uh, take his revenge. Uh, then we have Primrose, who's also... Revenge driven, she's going to try to find the. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, my eyes. <laughs> the uh, three murderers of her father. Um, uh, I'll get more into the first chapter because that's going to be important because I'm going to have to give you some trigger warnings. <laughs> then we have Alfin, who's going around and he's going to try to become an apothecary. So he's going to go around and try to heal people and understand what his meaning and preservation of life means to him and the consequences that befall that and he learns and he grows then we have Therian who's just a steely steely boy good boy purple boy good boy um not best boy not best boy sadly but um he he goes into a manor he tries to steal some dragon eggs he gets caught and then he has to finish finding all the dragon eggs um, to get released from his sh from this like shackle on him that marks him as a thief. Um, where's Hannah? Where's Hannah? Oh, there she is. I'm so sorry, guys. Just need to. <laughs> the endings are really getting to me now. I'm so sorry. So glad I'm not wearing makeup for this. <laughs> then we have Hannah, who's a hunter, and so her her master goes off to fight this beast, and she never hears from him. Um, it says in this text it was a year ago, but she never hears from them, and all of a sudden her master's beast comes in, and she she's very worried about him because obviously they are inseparable, the beast and the master. 
so. Um, just quickly before we begin with Primrose, um, they say she's a dancer. They're saying that she's a dancer in context to the adult industry. So she goes up and dances, but then it's also presumed that um, these women then go off and spend time with patrons, if you know what I mean. So not exactly the most... wholesome work, especially when they're kind of forced into it, and you see in the beginning that her patron is very, very gross, very sexually forward to her, and it's obvious that he, he, he enjoys using his power over these girls. So that's just um, a little trigger warning when we get into it. It's I'll try to I'll try to warn before the scene. Um, there's a whole dialogue between Prim and this character. If I if I recognize it's coming up, I'll definitely rewarn people. It's just it's I don't want. It's not a great situation, and I don't want people to get reminded of situations that they've been in that have been similar. It's not great. Um, so yeah, with all of that, we're gonna go in, we're gonna start with Prim, and then we're gonna go around and collect all the other people. Again. I literally never realized I said lines when you picked them. I found that out of the wiki a couple days ago, and I'm so confused. <laughs> Even when the blade is held at your heart, faith shall be your sh shield. Words of House Azelhart, which is Primrose's family's house. So you can see little Prim in the back right. My right, it might be not your right when you're seeing this, um, but she's in the back 10 years ago. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. This is a very sad scene. Yeah, it works, isn't it? Can, can people, I guess I can, I'll hear it back on, on that, but funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one I'm pretty sure people can hear this. I'll, I'll just let them talk. And if not, I can come back and listen to this again and change it for the next stream. I do appreciate that the uh, that these lines are voiced. I thought you might say something like that. It would make your niece delightfully easy. Mother. So there's a little prim if you hadn't noticed her before. Um, and the nice thing is that the joysticks actually do rumble when he got struck down there, so there is some shaking. Make sure he's dead. Let's leave him. See. If you can see on their arms, there are little, um, little it's birds. So when she she brings up ravens, you just look at their arms and you, you'll see some marks. I didn't notice that the first time. I thought it was just a design. <laughs> I will never forget. Mrs. Prim. It's not it, that's a crow. It's a crow, not a raven. Yeah, so you can you can see. Yes. So this is our story.
So now we're back in the present. Here's Prim. Always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. Yes, yeah, so that's the that's the character, the master, who's um not always the best. Fine. Go on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing it is nice that these uh woman. these are You're covered the in these um cutscenes the because it would be a lot of stuff to say otherwise. <laughs> So Yusafa is important later. Um, we'll meet her. That's why she's not in the green like the rest of them. <laughs> Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment. Yeah, this is. Uh, he's not the best. The women. So again, I will remind you that when a particular scene is coming up, I will. Um, you know, if you if you need to leave for a couple minutes, I totally get it. It is not always the easiest to deal with these themes in video games. I think uh, it's coming up right here. I do appreciate that they use that root word groomed just particularly. This chapter is particularly the worst when it comes to this stuff as it goes along. Um, she doesn't mention this stuff again, so if this is tricky for you, again, you can leave and then come back in a couple more minutes. I, it only lasts a couple of minutes. And she will repay that debt, sir. Yes. For those who have played this demo, I'm sure you've seen the end of this chapter and you know how she repays that debt. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that there's only implications, you don't have to do anything in-game. They don't make you play that out. And I'm, I'm glad of that. So now we're in the actual game. The tavern lies at the end of the central road, just past the bazaar. I mustn't dally any longer. So, sorry, I'm actually in the way. I, it just is the radar. So, you see that there's a little mini-map in the bottom and it tells you important things. So, uh, you get to talk to people. Anybody who has a little icon on top of their head means you can talk to them. You can go through the doors. Get items. I don't think there's anything in here right now, but later there will be. You can run with B. Um, little shop here. We have 25,000 gil. 
Is any of this better to what I have? That's better. That's way better. I might just buy that now and equip it and then sell the other dagger I had. Oh, did I not equip it? I thought I equipped it. Oops. There you go. I'm gonna actually just keep the dagger for now. How are you? That's so important later that there's a little somebody passed away down the sand. We have just enough wind. We're in sunshade. We can't leave. You see there's a little post there. That's you'll see that a lot in other chapters when I accidentally go the wrong way. We're very clearly meant to go one way, but I always like checking it out because sometimes you get uh, you can pick up some items here. But if this is my our first chapter, I don't think we can really do any of that yet. This is the tavern up here. Yeah. So we're gonna go in and continue the story. This way, Primrose, get on, get a move on. <laughs> So there's a lot of people you can talk in here. This is the barkeep. Well, well. Oh, that's where the barkeep will stand later on. Well. <laughs> For some reason, I always thought the, the sprite I was talking to was always a girl. It's a guy. You find that out later when you hit some voice acting. <laughs> oh, there. And we're going to go get our first chest, which is up here. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's right here, and you can... Grabbed it, some healing grapes, and that's going to be used for our very first side quest coming up with good old Kit. Once we leave the town and finish this first chapter. Ah, kept, kept us waiting long enough, Primrose. I thought they were going to say the line. I was fixing my hair. <laughs> I did not say that right line, right? <laughs> oh, I should pro. Can I, I should, can I move just for right now? I'll just move myself just for right now. Did I move? I don't know if people... People can say if I moved or not. It's fine. I'll just put I just focus on back because I can't see. Yeah, it's better. It's better be. Excuse me. It better have been worth it. Your our best chance of getting to eat tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> and the customers have been waiting. I am ready. Then let the show begin. I wish I could whistle. I can't whistle. <laughs> I do love the idea of like dancers, like even Fire Emblem has a dancer, but it's totally different there. Watch over me, father. That day, I swore revenge against the men who took you from me. The three marked by the crow. My once proud house fallen. I left home far behind, following their trail. The trail has led me here. I heard one of them pa often passes through here on his travels. It was a small scrap of hope, but it was all I had. Until I find him, there's no disgrace I will not endure. Losing my honor is nothing compared to the pain of losing you. Father, I will not stop until I find the three and see justice served. Until I avenge you, I will dance. You are too kind and too handsome, I might add. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> not bad, Primrose. Not bad. Sorry, that was probably really close to the mic. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Look at your sandals. Seems you've gone and broken a strap. Get back to the dormitory and fetch yourself another pair. Yes. Most happily. I think, yeah, I think that they, they're just repeating, so we, I think we're good to head out. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to our dormitory and get the new shoes. Hey. Hey. Papa, Papa, I'm 
gonna I'm going to be in a play. <laughs> I will be the princess and everyone will look at me. You'll come and watch too, won't you? Yes. Of course, my dear. <laughs> Many thanks, my lord. Tee -hee, how was that? <laughs> I guess what, Papa? When I grow up, I'm gonna be the beautiful dancing girl, the star of the stage. Uh. <laughs> a, a dancing girl? That is a dream best forgotten. This is gonna be my old work voice. Get ready for it later. But my Papa. This is gonna be my trusted voice. Get ready for that later. <laughs> <laughs> Elena, my dear, you want to grow up to be a fine lady, yes? Like the princess you will play? Then it would be better not to say such things. N not in this town, at least. But why? What's wrong with dancing? It's so much fun. I agree. Dancing is so much fun. Even if I... Again, it's it can be provocative. But it's freeing if you're doing it for you. Look at her. She's, she's beautiful. <laughs> Hello, child. Come on, Helena, this way. <clears throat> I'll tuck you into a bit at the end. Papa has business to attend to this night. So you're gonna go see the dancers? You might go see the dancers. Yes. I suppose I should get back to my own work. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Thorn? Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, someone fetch a handkerchief. Primo seems to be bleeding. The poor dear. <laughs> Perhaps she got a blister. She's always dancing oh so passionately. Are you alright? Prim? I'm, I'm fine. It's nothing I haven't dealt with before. Hey. Don't you think that's enough already? <laughs> Do you take such pleasures in others' pain? We're nothing but the master's playthings. All of us. And we all know what happens to the girls who displease him. <laughs> or have you forgotten? I like you, Sofa. Being half to death, tossed in the gutter, left for dead, sick and starving. We all know well enough where we stand. We know what he can do to us. Then why torment one of our own? That was not the right line to me for that. Many thanks. Thank you, Yusafa. But there is no need for you to make foes on my behalf. Prim. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> what are you all yowling back here? See their claws, it's time for work. <laughs> or do you think money flows into my coffers by itself? Get out there and collect your own tips! <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, again, if you guys need to leave, this is another scene coming up that's a little uncomfortable. Not you, Primrose. You stay. Sorry, show you gave today. I wish they'd do the full lines, but they're gonna do half the lines. <laughs> do you think I'm blind? One glance was all I needed to know your mind was not where it ought to be. I can see every thought in that pretty, empty little head of yours, and they were not on dancing tonight. You haven't forgotten your debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you? I don't know, I lost that voice halfway through, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> you know what fate awaits you if you dare defy me. 
don't you, kitten? I'm warning you. I'm... I'm warning you because I came from Rose. I wouldn't want to see anything untoward happen to my shining star. Uh, so sorry guys, give me a second. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. I'm sorry, my parents are just arguing inside the door. I was simply remembering the first day I came here to you. And where are you now? <laughs> not a day, not a moment when I am not thankful for all you've given me. Pray forgive me my lack of focus today, Master. You will not happen again. Oh, my dear, dear Primrose. I too often think back to the day you came to my door. Yeah. Just imagining the sight of you dancing for me as sweet as innocent as you were. It tickled me so. And you met my every expectations. You have been my best investment. But tonight you have displeased me, and for that you must atone. The crowd is looking thin tonight. Out on the streets with you, bring us some customs. Customs with coin enough to cover a week's expense. If you do that, I may still go easy on you. <laughs> At least relatively so, kitten. Yes. You are kind, master. Bravo Prim. That was quite a performance for the ages. I don't know why she's Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn from New York now. <laughs> How do you do it? I want to vomit every time I have to call him master. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to go on mute again. Maybe you can't hear them. I'm so sorry if you can still can. Um, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out collecting tips? I was worried about you. How was your foot? Oh, sorry, that was not prep. <laughs> what? Here, use this. I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry, apparently there was a rabbit outside or something. A handkerchief. Be careful out there, okay? So now we're going to know about path actions. So they all have different ways, and so primers can alert townspeople. Again, um... So what she can do is she can basically have somebody follow her and 
she has a percentage of uh, them following her. It's not 100% given. Well, it's time to put on a different kind of show. This one seems looks to be the likely sh sort. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lovely evening, isn't it, my lord? <laughs> May have you care to share it with me? My apologies. A tempting offer, but I have trouble in business. I must depart early on tomorrow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It must be a fascinating sort of business that you do. Perhaps you tell me more of a drink? <laughs> I'd love to get to know you better. <laughs> I, I am most afraid I cannot. <laughs> I dance at the tavern just down the street. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to put on a show just for you. So anything marked in green is our target. Um, to progress the story, so you can see that he has a strength of one, skill is slash. So if he's summoned in battle, he'll slash. He's not very strong, and he's summoned rule nine times before he leaves our party. And there's a chance of success. So right now it's one hundred percent, which is good because it means we can't fail. If we fail, a reputation will go down in town, and then we can't do a bunch of path actions there. Admit it now. Would you care to spend a little more time with me? Oh, oh my! I can't resist such beauty. Pray come hither. This is a real thing for girls who are attractive. <laughs> I guess I, I wish that was a real thing. So now we just take him to the pub. Let's go. Yes, that one's pockets look sufficiently deep. Good work, Kitten. You will be treated well tonight. Many thanks. You honor me, master. <laughs> the seeds are starting to fill. See that not a single cup goes empty. Yes. As you wish, master. Beg pardon. Good evening, gentlemen. Gentleman. <laughs> Oh, Primrose, you're looking more and more lovely every time I see you. It's been a while since we last enjoyed your company. Will you be with us this evening? How long will you be with us this evening? As long as you'll have me for, my dear. <laughs> Is that so? I'll have to give it some thought, then. I'll see you again later. Till next time. Oh no, who's that up in the corner? If that's what will I be taking my leave. Could it be? There, on his left arm. The mark of the crow. How long I have waited for this day. Finally you appear before me. This night, at long last, justice will be served. <sighs> no. Uh. I can't let him get away. Yeah. And where do you think you're going? So curious about that man, are you? It was a love at first sight, kitten. <laughs> Master. <laughs> you wouldn't think of abandoning the stage and your customers before the night is through now, would you? <laughs> Back to work, Primrose. I trust I don't need to repeat myself. Put your face back you do remember what happens to wicked little kittens who cross me, don't you? I have. I mean, if I had another chance like this again. And here's her friend. Are you all right? Prim? What's the matter? I smell like you look all flustered like this. Hmm. You don't need to tell me. 
For you to risk angering the master like that must be something important. Leave it to me. I'll keep his eyes busy. He slip at the back door on the upper floor. You shouldn't get involved. You'll put yourself at risk. <laughs> Look, Prim, maybe you don't tell me what you're thinking. Come on. <laughs> but that doesn't matter to me. I'm on your side and always will be. <sighs> on my side? <sighs> when the other girls would pick on me and tell me to know my place, he would always be the only one who stood up by me. <laughs> you never say much. You're always so distant. Aloof, even. But I know you just don't want to burn others with your troubles. I know you better than you think, Prim. I don't know why I thought she'd have worked on that because I was doing it before. A good heart? Yusufa. I. Thank you. Always oh, a woman a few words. She just gets Harley's voice, that's all it is. I wouldn't have it any other way. We're gonna follow the man. So, because that was a story element and he left our party, we don't have a summon anymore. So we might want to pick up a summon before we leave, or alert somebody before we leave. You will bring me the woman I need, won't you now? Great hiding spot. <laughs> Competent help is so hard to come by these days. Whatever is a man to do. <laughs> I, I can't assert you, my lord. I am doing all that I can. Helganish. We are friends, are we not? Friends take care of one another, yes. They do, <laughs> they do not disappoint each other. <laughs> I, will, I will do everything in my power. I saw a fine dancing girl in the tavern. I would rather like such a girl for my own. So just as I thought. Helganish knows him. Listen to me. Bring the woman to the marked place on this map. And Helganish? Try not to keep me waiting. Yes. But but of course, my lord. That, that map. <laughs> Better hiding now. She's just stayed cruise <laughs> Cries the whole time. Okay, let us. Yes, saving our progress. Good old Therian. So we're gonna save our progress here. That is my main. We're gonna go down to the bottom. There's nine spots. We're gonna put you at number nine. And I think that's good time for a little stretching break. So does that really feel about this right now? Everybody feel good? There's not really any of you in here, but that's fine. Um, but you know, that's good. It's good. It means people didn't hear my horrible impressions. Um, what are you? Pointed shot. What do you do? He's a spear. What do you do? I can't allure you. Probably means you're important later. What do you do? Blinding dust. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the first person. Let's take her with. Let's take. Yeah, her with me. Yeah, we have a little buddy coming around. Um, I got a weapon. I don't think I need to get armor. Is there something in here? I know I think that comes later in another side quest. We're still in the story, so we don't have really side quests right now, but you know, that comes later. So this is our first, uh, our first dungeon. 
And I gotta show you the battle mechanics in here. Let me just get these shots because I don't like. Ooh, it's so dark in here. Okay. So the first combat. <laughs> this is basically gonna tell you about breaking. So exploit your foe's weakness, turn the tide of battle in your favor. So yes, you'll see that when we attack a monster with things, unless we have Sire, Sire's automatically detects um, an enemy's weakness, one of them. Uh, we'll find out what the weakness areas are, and then if you use that kind of weapon attack, you you can detract the number of attacks you make to the shield on the side of it. Um, I'll talk more about this in combat. Sorry, I just got distracted for a second. Um, Primrose can utilize both daggers and dark abilities in battle. Go to dancer skills and choose Moonlight Waltz in her actions. Once you use more, once you, when, once she can use more weapons, select attack and choose the one you want with the directional. It's all directional arrows. Directional arrows. So yes, so you see how it says one right next to the um, lizard man. So that means if we attack one time with the weapon that we that he's weak to. I'm looking at myself now, this is so weird. A weapon that he's weak to, um, will break his shield, and then when he breaks his shield, he won't get turned the next time, um, uh, after the next arrow, and what that means is that he'll take more damage too. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can see at the top is uncovering. I should probably move myself down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move myself down here for, for right now. Maybe I should just be down here for the rest of the time. Yeah, down here is pretty safe. So you can see at the beginning that we're going first, and then it's going to be Blizzard, and next turn, Blizzard's going first, and then us. You see at the top that there's Primrose, you see BP, BP is boost points. Boost points basically means that you can attack multiple times, or have a more boosted attack depending on what you're doing. HP, SP, pretty, pretty basic stuff, so we're just going to attack, because we know that he's weak to Dagger from the little tutorial we saw. Boost mode. Enter boost mode to like, augment your power, so there you go. Break your foes to drastically reduce the defense. Press the R button to enter boost mode, and then and the potency of your attacks and abilities will surge. You gain one boost per, t boost point per turn. You can spend up to three boost points. You can, yeah, to boost your character's three levels of power. If you use boost mode, you will not gain any BP on the following turn. So we're just gonna we're gonna boost. Let's go. So you see that's pretty good damage compared to what we had before. So yeah, 69 compared to 45. I mean, he broke there, so it's kind of not a fair. Um, let me actually show you the dancer too. So there's Moonlight Waltz. So that's the dark magic. So you get a bonus to XP if you break them. You get a bonus to money if you beat them in one turn. Either you beat them in one turn, you take no damage. JP's job points um, that you need to apply new skills. Healing grapes. That's important. I think there's something else up here. There's another. So there you go, there's a new weapon type, so we'll have to see. So we're gonna use our attack first. Wasn't weak daggers. Oh, let's try magic. There you go, he's weak to magic. That's our end. <laughs> So also you'll see that just down here we have summon, so we can bring in our lured companion. We can't have multiple companions, so... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I hit the wrong one. So what I did was I did lion stance, which basically means that we have a better attack bonus, but I think it's only physical attack, so I think I wasted that, and I boosted on it, so that was not good. I didn't do that a lot, even when I'm playing by myself, I'll like be looking somewhere else and then I'll hit the wrong thing, which is why I accidentally poison a bunch of my party with Alfin, because I hit the wrong button and I'm concocting something. Yay, we leveled up. Is there something over here, or did I mess up? No, it's the way we're supposed to go. Okay, that's good. I won't be getting all the chests because uh, that's going to be pretty tedious, but I'm going to get the ones that are on my way and that I saw. Um, so soul stones, very important. Soul stones do a fixed amount of damage of a specific elemental type. We got a soul stone, a shadow soul stone, so it'll be doing shadow or dark damage a specific amount. Uh, we're gonna do this one because that one comes first before us. We'll get a chance to break the other one next time. So we can do that. 
We don't have an area of attack yet. Which is unfortunate. But let us beat this guy. I should probably dance him there. I probably shouldn't have attacked. That's not, um... I think we'll do that. I thought I was gonna kill him. <laughs> so Primrose, everybody has a specific um, for when they get less, when they get very injured. So they'll go into this little animation. Oh, that is that is really not good. Okay. Hopefully we level up, because you level up, you get all your... Yay, we level up, you get all your <laughs> HP and SP back, which is why I was trying not to heal. Um, do I have enough? Ah, they're not linking into jobs yet. That's, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. So yes, so later on, you can get um, the JP that you acquire, you can use to get new skills, jump armies, and you get passive skills. Um, you can only use the skills of the jobs you have equipped, but passive skills you can use from whatever, whatever class you learn, which is nice. I'm surprised that they haven't- I guess maybe I don't have enough JP yet, let's forget. I say untouch is more money, so untouch is if you don't get hit, you get more money, if you break them in one time, you get more JP. We have Traveler, we don't need the Traveler. Traveling Peddler, I mean. Let's go get a chest, because there's always a chest on a long, long alleyway. I think I see it. It's that- was that red and gold one in the corner over there? This we know. They're weak to darkness, so we're just gonna go ahead and dance. And so, because it's magic, dances cost SP, um, magic points. You don't regain them between battles, you only gain them between levels. And you regain them if you use a plum. So we picked up an inspiring plum earlier, so we can use that in the boss battle coming up. And you said that we got essence of pomegranate. Those are kind of the ingredients that you used to concoct stuff. So pomegranates boost BP. Or you have boost points, empowering earrings. We're gonna go ahead and equip those. Because we don't have anything equipped. So accessories. Gives us a max of 50 HP. We're gonna put that on. And we're good to go. Yeah, so silver chests have like silver rewards. Like not they're not the best, but they're not the worst. Like they're very they're the worst things you can pick up for chest. Golds are tend to be better, and then the purples are the best. Um, what do you do? There you go. Good to know. They're weak to dagger. I should have broken the other one because the other one went after me this one. I was gonna try to kill this bat. Nope. Didn't work. That's fine. We're just gonna focus on trying to take this bat down. There you go. So now we can focus all on this bat. Which means it's easier for us to position ourselves in combat. So that wasn't very useful to us because we were going bef before him in that combat. There you go, that was useful because then we would have had two turns back to back where if he's after us and we break him, then it's almost like we had two turns anyway and then we don't get that next attempt. So it's almost better to buff yourself that turn or cure yourself that turn and then the next turn you break him. If you can do that. Okay, and then we're gonna save before the boss because I don't think this is gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna, I have five of these, I'm gonna heal myself there. There you go, and we're gonna, we're gonna save the game before we beat the boss. Are we gonna try to beat the boss? I didn't have problems with this the first time I 
beat him. I have a lot of troubles elsewhere. Oh, really? We're gonna have one of these before we leave? Of course. We can run. Um, we can defend. We can use an item. You know what? I'm, we're just gonna... We're just gonna beat it. Because, you know, it's always good to have extra experience. And Pear's gonna be in a party for, for the longest time. And she's gonna be kind of... Our main damage dealer because she's gonna be the most ever leveled, so it doesn't it doesn't hurt to get extra experience on her. We're not speedrunning right now. Yay, there you go, job points. This is what I want. So select skills and learn skills. There you go. See, because then we would have gotten into the fight without skills. So skills. Learn skills. I learn a variety of skills gained the upper hand in, ba in battle. You can learn skills in order in any order you choose, you will needing piece of more JP to learn skills so carefully. You'll need increasingly more per job. So it kind of resets like between jobs. So if I want to go immediately to go into like merchants and Teresa, it will only cost 30 for the first move. It doesn't cost like exponentially more and more. Um so we peacock struck peacock strut, that's what I meant to say. Augment a single allies elemental tax. Mold dance augments a single allies physical defense. Night ode deal your shade. Um, deal dark damage to all foes, I love that. Increase an ally's speed for two turns. Building grace causes a curious effect to occur one time. This is essential for when you're leveling up quickly, but just for right now, because I don't want to do that on a boss, because I don't think it makes sense for us right now, we're going to use Night Ode, because it's going to be an area of attack. But when we're leveling up, I'll show you what building grace does, because it's, it's important. Oh, she went back to save, shit. He's going to get away. I won't let that happen. And where might you be off to, kitten? Oh no. <sighs> but Yusufa was supposed to be distracting him. I like being down here. Maybe I'll stay down here for the rest. Helganish. Oh no. There's Yusufa. Whatever are you doing here at this hour? Funny you should ask. A word. Oh no. Yusufa. I, I'm sorry. It's okay, Yusufa. It's fine. You did your best. She was quite intent on keeping her mouth shut. But my boys helped her get it open. It seems I was too lenient with the girl. I won't make that mistake again. No! And then he throws her from from the cliff. Grim, I've never heard you shout so. What? This is no time to. Hey, Grim. Yusufa. Where is me? Uh. You say yes. You say yes to this dying girl. <laughs> I was, I was sold to this place as a child. Everyone was so cruel, so miserable. I thought. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to skip ahead there. This actually made me cry the first time I was playing this. <laughs>
At least her last performance had some life. And now we're gonna murder him. So that sort of potential earlier. I might have kept her on longer. Enough. What was that? I have danced enough for you. You go for him. I thought it a waste as empty as the desert. I saw you for the foul swine you are the first time I laid eyes on you. You go, Prim. Take that tone with me. You're nothing but a stupid whore. You would have died on the street if not for me. You have given me nothing. This is so good. The music kicks in. You go prim. You go prim. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I gotta move something real quick and then we'll key it from here. I think we're good. Yeah, okay, we're good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. We will and pay him back. Put it where it belongs, and if you please me to my satisfaction, I will overlook your impertinence. Master, go pleasure yourself. I think we all know what she means, but it's a Nintendo game, and they're not gonna say that. There's an option to change it to like British English because the fact that it has favor of that the you it makes me kind of upset, but I understand why. <laughs> yes. Terrible. Terrible shame. I'm sure my Canadians and um people who don't speak American English understand what I mean. <laughs> So you're gonna see why we picked up an A. You're gonna see why we picked up an AOE. Because these guys, I think, are all weak to dark damage. So that we can break them all at once. I am ready. Night We're gonna save our boost points to when we can actually do a full boost point later. So we're gonna take a little bit of a beating here, but it's okay, because we go first next turn. And we're not in serious damage yet, and we're gonna we're gonna break him. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, I messed up actually. Yeah, no, I messed up. Okay, well, yeah, that's not ideal. We'll get rid of this one for now, and then I'm probably gonna have to use that inspiring palm I picked up. That's fine. Sparing plan, let's go. Oh, that's not good. I might actually lose here, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. You might be in trouble. Oh no. 
Yeah, okay. Well, that didn't go exactly as planned. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Well. Yeah, totally. I meant to show you what the game over screen looked like. Oh, no. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do that one more time. I need an encounter. Need an encounter. Please give me an encounter so I can get that night of bring your shade again. Please. Where is the encounter? Need an encounter. There you go. Okay, good. Um, because then we don't have to waste our VP going into this. We can just... Sorry, our SP going into this. We can just... We... I don't think we need to heal. I think we're good. There you go, we got VP again. Sadly, we lost the money that we got from the previous bonus, but that's fine. Uh, I already showed you guys this. Um, we're gonna get Night Ode. And then we're gonna head off. I'm gonna skip to the cutscene this time, because we, we know what happens. We don't need to see Yusufa die again. We can just pretend that she's alive, because we don't see her. She's fine. She's good. She's just sleeping. Let's go, Night Ode. It's embarrassing because even my first casual playthrough when I played this, I didn't die on this boss. <laughs> Gonna Night Ode one more time. So the bosses will always be weak to at least something that the main character can do. And just because, you know, you might start out with them and it wouldn't be fair that you can't break them in any way. Um, but that doesn't mean they're weak only to what you bring to the party. So we're gonna do a full powered booster because I actually have SP and I didn't mess up earlier. <laughs> Let's go. So he's gonna be weak to dagger because that's our only physical weapon. He wasn't weak to... And he wasn't weak to, um, magic, so... I'm gonna break him so he can't just make attack. And then I'm gonna heal. And that's not ideal. But that's what I chose to do. You can see I am at that. He missed. Good. And you if you break him from the magical attack, they won't do the magical attack. They have to boost up in his case. Other bosses will will be able to do it the next turn, so then you can buff yourself. So I'm not gonna break him here even though I could, because now I'm gonna break him this turn, and he won't be able to do his action next turn. If I'm the last person on that turn, on the next turn, for example, I can't see what the next one afterwards would be, then I'm wasting a potential time that he could have acted, and then he won't get stunned for that. So I'm just gonna use it here. And then what I'm gonna do, even though he's weak to the dagger, this is gonna do more damage, so I'm just gonna use that for now. And there you go. Our first boss. <laughs> first attempt. Nothing else nothing else happened. That was the only thing you saw. <laughs> you always were different from the rest. That fire in your eyes. It burned brighter than any others. I have seen many a girl in my year, but none. Quite like you. You fascinated me from the start. Come, Primrose. Won't you dance one last dance for me? Buddy, I think she got you. I had so much fun recording those sounds. <laughs> like the dancer yourself in the end. Oh. 
guess you won't be needing this anymore. At the village of still snow. <laughs> I need to pack some warmer clothes. And with that, master, I do believe my debt is paid. Pretty severe. Pretty severe. We are free at last, my friend. And so Primer set out from the shifting, shifting sands to land of swirling snow in her quest for vengeance against the three foul crows. Where the stance will lead her, none can say. It's not gonna be here. There's no, there's no rhyming couplet, couplet there. So I guess that's for us to play. There you go. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna, you know, there's eight characters. Please collect the characters and together you're strong. Um, so that's the... Oh, yes, that was the first chapter. I know this is our first, um, our first side quest. It's actually important for us to get the true ending of this game, for us to complete all of Kit's side quests, so this is Kit. A monster came out of nowhere and it got me in the leg. I can hardly put any weight on it. I hate to be a bother, but do you have a healing grape to spare? Oh, my friend, we in fact have many healing grapes to spare, which is why I picked up the first one in the beginning. So, um, you'll see that if they have a kind of orange, that it's a side quest. We're gonna give them a healing grape. <laughs> it feels good to be back on my feet. I can't thank you enough. I've had, to, I'd have been done for if you hadn't come along. My name is Kit. I'm on a journey to find my father. He disappeared when I was just a boy. Oh, poor Kit. <laughs> Don't we know where his father is? For those of us who have finished this game, we know where his father is. Are you on a journey too? We'll, we'll also find out where his father is. We'll, we'll do the whole shebang if you want to. Perhaps our paths too will cross again someday. Be safe, and may your travels bring you all that you seek. So that again, side stories, these are people in your help all across Asteria. There may be more than one way to say their problems. Yeah, and we're gonna try to pick the best ways because I accidentally forever left a girl with amnesia to never be reconciled with her, um, rejoined with her brother, and I felt entire, entirely so much worse when I figured that out as opposed to just beating the hooligans. So I'm just gonna go into town and save her super quick. Oh, and there's a little chest there when I get the chest. And then I'm gonna come back out and get the shine. You saw that there was like a little mini upside down candelabra. Those are shrines. They give you drop classes. I think that's the drop class of the dancer, but it never hurts to pick it up. And there should be some side quests here now that we're done the first chapter. So let's pick up all the side quests we can. They'll help us later. Like go of me. I require no risk from the like of you, from the likes of you. Don't be shy. Love, I'll take you to a place with cushions like the clouds. I'll go where I please thank you. Now, like, go with me. So, um, we don't have the right people in our party to deal with this. Obviously, we need to tell the person to back off by challenging him and getting him away from the girl, but we don't have Ulbrich or Hannah yet, so we'll come back to this later. I need you guys better than the girl I have now. Ah, uh, three dances, yep. I'm just gonna keep her for now. She's 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 pretty decent. That's a drunken person who the uh, barkeep wants us to deal with. Would you look at that? The use of sod is our hired arms. He's supposed to keep the peace when our customers get a bit rowdy, but all he does is drink, not work. His coin disappears as quickly as the sands in an hour class. Maybe someone actually bested him in a fight for once, he'd learn to take his position without a bit more gravity. So again, this is teaching you that sometimes you gotta fight to deal with these side quests. Hanit or Ulbrich would be good at dealing with this. <laughs> Me? Are you mad? Have you seen the size of him? I can best him beat someone like that in a fight. 
good. Um, we already got the chest up there. I don't think these people have any good information for us. Excuse me. There's gonna be one more. So this girl, she won't move and we can't allure her, so we can also use Ulbrich or Hanit to beat her and then when she's knocked out we can get inside. Um Yes, there you go, there's somebody in here now. Alas, no one turns their head in my dancing. I cannot catch anybody's eye. Dancing is nothing but a sorrow. Maybe it's time to hang up my dance shoes. Before I do, I want to stand on the stage and dance with Grace one more time. So she wants an actually a pretty costume, so we can either steal or buy the costume. Sadly, I don't have Tressa or Therian with us, so we can't do that. But we'll come back and deal with these side quests later. So let's go get that shrine before we go. Do people want us to go get Alfin or do people want us to go get Octo, Ulbrich? Yeah, so either Alfin. Oops. Do people want us to get Alfin or Ulbrich? I should have been paying attention to what I was doing. I like looked away trying to remember. I was like in the circle, like who comes next and who goes before. I personally think that Alfin would be better because then we can get some scrutinizing going. If we get Ulbrick, we can come back, but that's not really useful. Let's go get Alvin. If nobody has any opinions, I'll go get Alfin. I think that might be a good choice. Cool. Is this safe for us? Yeah, level one, we're good. Is he in St. Spritz? I don't think he's in St. Spritz, but it doesn't hurt because when we when we go to a town, we can tra fast travel there later, and that's always helpful. I think he's, I think Elfin's up. But we'll stop by St. Bridge. Oh yes, yeah, surprise rounds. So that means that we have a free action, they can't hit us. If we beat them in that turn, we get extra bonuses. Let's try magic. There you go, beat to magic. And then let's just blast him. Perfect. Do do do. So yeah, we have the first chapter, this trust chest over here. Healing grape, there you go. We got one we gave to Kit. Always gonna pick these things up. We're getting a lot of surprise rounds. I'm just happy we haven't been surprised yet, actually. Okay, let's let's try Dark Magic. I don't know, if, yeah, okay, these people just aren't weak to us. We're gonna have to just power through this and just brute force our way. There you go. In these cases, I'd rather save my SP for something that's actually weak. Um, unless like I'm like super close to level up, I just don't really like wasting it. Unless you know, if I know we're gonna kill the match, in which case I'll just use it. <laughs> There's nothing worse than getting <laughs> that battle transition machine right before you go to get a chest. There you go, and then we'll just poke him with the little a little dagger, and then hopefully I come across. Um, oh, I should really say that there's a flashing warning because some of the stuff can be pretty bright. Yeah, I don't think this is. Oh, that's level twenty. We're not going there. Never mind. We're we're heading back, guys. We're heading back. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not, we're not strong enough. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take a little, little stretch break. Everybody can get up and move if they want. I'm just gonna get a little glass of water. 
little sip of water, I should say. Okay, nice little stretch break. I hope everyone had an opportunity to stretch. I'm gonna give people a couple more minutes just to go to the bathroom or take a break or whatever. I don't know, maybe that'd be a good idea to put like a little timer on my streams and be like, yeah, we're gonna keep going for like 35 minutes and then we're gonna take a little break. I don't know how I would do that though. Okay, I guess we have no choice but to go up because I'm not strong enough to face level 20 monsters. And I could tell that just because in the bottom, I guess I'm covering it. But when you go to transition to a new screen at the bottom where my face is covering, it says the name of the town and it says danger level. And I am not strong enough to face danger level 20 monsters by myself at this moment. That's lucky. We're gonna get a little a level up recovery. So I'm not scared of getting hit here. I should probably boost it there, but that's fine. Yay! We leveled up. <laughs> gonna go north. And what's nice too is if you end up dying in one of these screens, it saves you from the last screen you came through. I think. Alpha and Sinclair Brook. What's north then? North is. What's in our map? Oops. Thank you. I don't need this. Um. Yeah, Clear Brook. What's what's north? We'll go north with Alpha and we'll see. I kind of wish we had this person, this fight before we leveled up because then we didn't, wouldn't have to use our, our SP. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see if Alvin's this way. If I made a horrible mistake, we keep going. And so the little the little diamond you see means it's screen changes. And yeah, this is where Alvin is. Okay, cool. We're gonna go pick up Alvin, and then we'll have a healer, which is good. Which is what I was thinking. Between Alvin and Albrick, I would probably rather have Alvin because he can screen eyes. Well, he can inquire. I think is what his path action is called. Um, he can acquire and then we have a healer too, which is good. And then we have somebody who does f more physical damage, and then we have somebody who does more elemental damage. And then we can go pick up... Therian, so we can pick locks, and then we can go pick up Panit. Yes, this looks familiar. It comes to a point where you just fast travel between places, and I forget how to get around. <laughs> and if you're sick of all these, like, random encounters, if you pick up Cyrus first, you can get a skill where it reduces the number of encounters. Not not eliminates them, but drastically decreases the number, and that's, that's good because then you don't have to fight all these low-level things, but then you're also not getting experience in JP, but that makes sense. She might not want it because you know you might be way too up leveled for these sections. So, the show is over. how many JP do I have? I have 42. That's not enough to to get a new skill. An olive of life. Olives are like full um, phoenix sounds and 
in Final Fantasy, Ball to Fall is... Ball to Fall. I'm, I'm switched on my screen. Ball to Fall is Therian. Clearbrook is Alphen. We're gonna go Clearbrook and then Ball to Fall. Let's go. Yeah, this is Alphen. Really? Before the screen transition? We were so close. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna have to beat him with our little pointy stick now because we're out of SP. <laughs> we're some like fear. <laughs> we're gonna poke at him. Which means that these guys are probably weak to um we're probably weak to axes or or ice magic, because that's what Elfin can do. I don't think Alphen has any other types of weapons. I think it's only axes. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99% sure. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go pick up Alphen. We can save him and pick up Alphen if we want. There he is, our good boy. And this is everybody Alphen. Everybody say hello to Alphen. Do I get this guy with an accent? I'm sorry, that, that, peaked the, that peaked the audio. I have to be careful not to laugh too hard. Zeph. Mina. You better hold out. <laughs> you, you, you just better hold on for me. Yeah, we're giving him Brinkle Dax and he's Joey Wheeler now. <laughs> there ain't no way I'm letting that venom beat you. You hear me, Viper? I'm coming for you. His name is Elfin, and he's an apothecary. His whole life has been spent in the pastoral village of Clearbrook, where he looks after the residents as a young apothecary. He's not alone in his efforts, though. Zeph, his best friend since boyhood, works alongside him. I'm sorry, I sped through that last part. <laughs> but when Zeph's little sister has been by a deadly viper, it falls to Elfin to fashion an antidote before the poison takes her. And so he ventures out to the cavern of Ryo where he must do battle the dread beast. He will need caring allies on the path he has chosen. And Prim is once his ally, and this old random old lady we have with us. So, um, we're gonna take Alphen along, yeah. And we're gonna actually hit the beginning of his tale, because otherwise you don't get the little introduction we get. Like, for example, with Prim, you would skip the whole part about her being abused and just go straight to the follow, follow the guy. So, we do this. And there's often in the corner there. Can you really save him with that medicine of yours? I do find it funny. There's like, there's, I'm sorry. There's like healing medicine, which is like elephant, like actual cured science. And then there's Ophelia, who's like, through the power of prayer, I heal you and resurrect you. So it's funny that like people are like, can you really save him? Like, there's a lot of people who can save your grandpa. It's fine. Trust me, it's fine. There's a lot of stuff that we can do. Just doing my job. <laughs> stop the coughing for now, but your lungs have seen better days. Oh, he's like a surfer boy. Why did I give him Brooklyn accent? I couldn't remember his voice. <laughs> I can only do like a female surfer voice, so I'm not giving that to Alvin. I'll probably give it to Tressa. Thank you ever so much. How blessed we are to Tressa, have Tressa gets Alvin's voice. Alvin's gonna get Tressa's Brooklyn voice, which is kind of like a little Brooklyn-y, so well. She's very like Cockney, so like we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna cross streams, because I'm gonna give kind of like a British voice to Cyrus, so we're not we're trying not to double up. And then Prim also has kind of like a more like, oh high class sort of voice, so like I'm not trying to double up on voices. It's not much. I'm sorry, cut off the please. Why don't you hold on to that and buy something tasty for you and your grandpa? I'll be back to check in on him. Okay. 
In this age, the arts of medicine and healing are still in their infancy. With disease and illness rampant, the people rely on salves and tinctures fashioned by apothecaries. Mama. Did you see me, Ma? I whipped up an anti-tuss of elixir like you wouldn't believe. Can't believe it's been a year already. Am I any closer to being the man I want to be? The man he was. Yes, you are, often. I've been looking all over for you. And this is F. Hey, is that you done for the day? Yes, only two patients today. Having you around sure eases the burden. If only I could convince you to quit giving out discounts. <laughs> oh, come on. I like the little <laughs> sweat emoji. <laughs> Or, you know, often, which you can use, you can take the money, and then, and then you can, like, you know, buy her a meal or something with that money and, like, leave it on the doorstep for them to eat, because that's also a common trope, and, like, the I guy's mean. too nice to charge a discount, so he's not actually taking the money. <laughs> if the villagers are healthy and happy, that's more than good enough for me. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. We may be new to this, but between the two of us, this village is in good hands. Sure is. Plagues, epidemics, bring your worst. These guys could handle the vid. They could totally deal with it. It would be gone if these two were around. I'm counting on you, Alf. We all are. Who'd have thought that little troublemaker would turn out to be a top-notch apothecary, huh? But we can't all be born with a silver pestle hand, Master Zen. Your mother would be proud. Maybe. She would be. Anyway, I should be getting back to Nina. Yeah, beat it. Head on home, big brother. Before anybody makes a full monolochimus joke. She does not turn into a dog. I cannot emotionally deal with any of those jokes, so please refrain from making them for my own mental sake. Thank you. Uh, hey, Alfin. We've been friends ever since we were small, right? I know you better than anyone, so be honest. You're keeping something from me, aren't you? Um... I'm right, aren't I? Alf, the truth is... Master Zeph! Master Zeph, you must come quickly! It's... It's your sister! Oh no, what happened to his sister? Not like we didn't hear in the opening. <laughs> look like bite marks. Alfin, could you take a look as well? Hmm? You got it, buddy. <laughs> She's fallen into a deep trance. This is worse than we thought. And the... Nina's the only family I have. If I lost her, I'd... Wish she could tell us what happened. It's safe to assume she was bitten by something poisonous. But what? Without knowing the nature of the poison... Yeah, the wrong medicine could make things worse and quick. <laughs> Yeah, I never realized that you have to actually know what bitch you had and then you end up to work. Like, I, I could understand that in principle, but it's not like, you know, you can just give somebody, like, like a frog antivenom if it's poisonous frog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to know specifically, and that's always kind of, that didn't really 
I didn't understand that until somebody explained it to me that you need to know the specifics of what what poison it is so you can get the right antidote and I'm like oh yeah that would that would make sense so that's something I found out um I think a couple years ago I won't tell you how old I was because that, it's gonna be embarrassing so Alvin can inquire information from people which is my favorite skill I like inquiring from people um person we need is over here and we can't do any side quests so we're just gonna speed around the story this is Lily. She's friends with Nina since childhood. The two of them have grown up like sisters. The rather more strong-willed Nina often takes the lead on their secret adventures in the dangerous wild Seth's village. And she knows Nina's secret. Nice chatting with you. Come on now. Lily. The bite marks on Nina's legs. You sure don't know where they came from? You sure you don't know where they came from? Um, um. I want to help your friend, but I'm an apothecary, not a miracle worker. If I don't know what bear, there ain't nothing I can do. Oh. <laughs> you want to help it too, right? So just tell me, please. Nina wanted to pick some water blooms for her brother. I, I wasn't so sure about it, but I went with her to the cave. And then this this giant snake came out of the bushes. What, what kind of snake was it? Was it, was it black? No. No. Don't tell me. Was it Amber with blotches, blotches on his back? Yes. Yeah. H how did you know? Holy. The flame take me. A blotted viper. The flame is actually something that Ophelia's story rolls around. It's um, it's kind of the dominant religions in this part. So it's the flame of Alfric. Not Alfin. Alfric. I'm sorry, I know we're not supposed to go there. But when Nina wanted to be a surprise, she, she told me to keep it a secret and... I see. Thanks, Lily. You told me all I needed. Here, there, tiny child. You a brave girl to be bring Nina back. Yeah, she was fucking freaking carried her friend, like, all the way back here. I would... I would probably have run off. I don't know that makes a terrible friend, but I probably would have ran off if I was 12. Don't you worry anymore about that scary snake here. Like, if I was older, I probably would have more sense to, like, stay there and, like, get them out of the situation. But at 12, I'd be like, nah, I'm gone. <laughs> Good gods, a blotted viper. A nasty kid if I ever saw one. There ain't- this ain't good. Time is of the essence. I sound very nasally, I'm so sorry. The poison is spreading through her veins as we speak. I must prepare an antidote with all haste. I love when people say with all haste, it's fun. That's why. I'm sorry, something something distracted me for a second. But I need to get my hands on the original venom. There's supposed to be a nest of vipers in the cave of Rio, yes? I was hoping they were gonna say it, so I don't know if I was saying that right. Oh god. <laughs> Yo, I'm putting out the nasty. It's reckless ain't the half of it. We're giving Alpha a British accent for those who just came in. It's um not going well. I can't do accents. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't speak that line. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. I'll leave it once. Look after Nina for me. Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on, Zef. Hmm? <laughs> you like after her. I'll go. Good, good friend. Huh. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Alvin, are you mad? <laughs> I'm responsible for Nina. I won't let you take any risks for. I won't let you risk your life like this. Sometimes reading is hard. 
<laughs> Don't worry about me. Now go back to your sister's side. Just a minute. I swear, have you taken your have you taken your leave of your its senses? Have you taken your leave of your senses? Good, convenient, convenient, Mina interruption. Where are you? Yeah. I'm here, Nina. Will you hold my hand? Again, we're not making any Big Brother jokes. We're not making any Full Metal Alchemist jokes. We're not for my own mental sanity. I will boot you. Thank you. She's up. She needs you. Thanks, Elf. Come back safe, you hear? And so, I have a date with this viper, you see? We just met, and you still want to come and help me out? <laughs> Shucks, friend, I owe you one. They're good folks in this village, down to the last. And Zeph's always stuck by my side, so damned if I won't stick by his. So let's go. We're heading for the Cave of Ryo, just east of the village. We better hurry for Nina's sake. And Alp and join the party. So let's go, time of the essence. We gotta... We gotta go. I don't have money. I'm gonna buy, buy a better weapon. Let's save. See, that's the purple chest I was telling you about with uh, with Therian. If we had Therian, we could we could do that. But we'll, we'll probably come come, and then we can warp back and get that if you wanted to. But let's write it for now. We're gonna save, and then we're gonna do some leveling up. We don't have enough. He doesn't have enough. Let's go. Let's go to get that viper, and then hopefully we run into something. We'll definitely run into something. Oh, let me get that trust chest. I'm gonna grab it. If I see a chest, I have to grab it. I am ready. So yes, let me show you what Alfin can do. So Alfin has axes, I don't need that, and then he has first aid, which is a single restore, which means he's very good, as opposed to Ophelia, who has to heal the whole entire party. He can do more on a targeted person, and it costs less too, which is very nice. Uh, less SP, and then he can do ice. So let's let's whack him with an axe, see what happens. There you go. So let's whack him with an axe. Again, flashing warnings. I'm sorry, some news in the chat, and they haven't seen this. There you go, we are untouched and break, so we get extra money. Drop points are <clears throat> way more useful. But you know, right now we don't have a, we don't have a full party, so money is equally good. We'll take money. Let's see what you got. I am ready. We're gonna tag him, and then we're gonna smack him with an axe, and we're gonna see if smacking him with an axe is also good. Not as good, but that's not bad. We have something that he's weak to, so we'll just smack him with an axe again. And then we're good. So you can see when you start using all these, all these breaks, you can make sure that you're never hit, which means you get more money. How do I get there? Oh, there it is. Oh, I just came there. I'm so sorry. I got distracted for like half a second, and then I immediately was like, nope. Same situation, but see, because we had more speed, we gotta go first. Oops. Which was good, because then we're not gonna get hit. Which means that we get more money. Which means we can buy better equipment. Which means we can do more damage to make sure that we don't get hit, because then if we don't have the right weaknesses, we can still out-damage him, do the maximum HP. And Alfin got two levels there, which is really good. Soothing dust. Want to tangle, huh? I am ready. The moonlight. And then we're gonna bop him with an axe. <clears throat> I don't think these guys are weak to 
They might be weak to, to ice or, sorry, with fire. They might also be weak to lightning. I think, I think they're probably weak to lightning. Generally, the way that the weaknesses go, it's weapon, it would be weapons, and then once you get your first magic, everything beyond that point is also magic. Just keep everything together, which is pretty useful. So if, you, if you're trying to figure it out and you have, say, bows and space and then a dagger and you have ice and there's only four it's pretty it's pretty likely it's gonna be another weapon and not another kind of magic so if you're trying to fill out your all your beast weaknesses that's one way to try to do it or you can just bring cyrus along cyrus can tell you the one that you're missing I'm ready. naito bring your shade bring your shade i have I have had prim in my party for so long that I know that by heart. I shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. I think this is gonna come anyway. Yeah, there you go. And then we're gonna go into this cave where the poisonous vipers live. We're gonna get all the chest of seed because again I am a little loot goblin. Ruinous seed. So the other thing that um there are these nuts too. Nuts you may think would be craftable items, but no, they're like permanent stat boosts. So if you see nuts, uh don't sell them. Uh just give them to a party member that you think would make best use of them. Let's uh, level Prim up. We had extra money because we were untouched. Cool, both of them leveled up. Before we go into the boss, make sure that I'll get more. Um, I get my points. I'll get more abilities because that's important. We're gonna go ahead this way, and then we're gonna make sure we're gonna save so I don't end up dying. I was right. There was something up there. I'm, I'm not best at navigating these like 3D, 2D environments. I sometimes the walls get in the way and it's not quite fair. Right. We're not in touch. We're not getting our bonus. Okay, well, we're gonna have to try ice and. Ice and magic, I guess. It's always best to try out your weapons and then go from there. Um, let's try ice. Cool off. There you go. I wonder what. The, the first one might be a maze, if I'm... The first one might be a maze. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, Cyrus's maze. Uh, staffs. So we're picking up a lot of these ingredients for, for Alphen's tinctures that he can concoct in battle. Remember that was his uh, battle talent. I like that. I like that he's in a he's a he's an alchemist. Cool. This is good. Oh, you're not weak to that. Oh no. Okay, well this is fine. I didn't do this properly, so we're probably gonna have another round of this. I because I didn't do it right. I could try to find out what his other weaknesses are, but it's not really important at the moment. And because we're going to boss, I don't think it necessary to waste my SP. I mean, you can find another way if you like using your items, but I, I don't like using my items at the beginning. What do we have here? It's either there's in that so inventory. These increase mass maximum SP, so I'll probably I'll probably save them for the end, or if I really get stuck. I don't think it's important right now. Uh, if you're running low on grapes or plums, you can talk to the merchant there. There's always a merchant at the beginning, just before every boss, which is nice. Just in case you don't really prepare, it doesn't sell any weapons. So if you think that you're 
not doing enough damage, I probably go back to town. And then you can grind on the way back in too. But if you just say like, oh, I I used I used a healing grape and I need more healing grapes, or you know, I I'm gonna use one plum before going to this. I might I might grind out one more level before I go and deal with this just because I've been so close to leveling up. So I might just and then after I level up I might save and then I'll do the jobs. We're going around in a circle. I do like this dynamic lighting in this game. They could have had it like all one one lighting, but they don't, which I appreciate. Uh, since Alphans in level up, we let him use all the magic. Primba might just get to attack. Because uh, Alphans gonna break before this, I'm just gonna let Alphan do that and not use the dark magic. And then I'm just gonna go and fill the BP. So you saw that, um, you, so you see that if you do a weapon attack, you do more attack. If you do a boosted magical attack, it only makes the magic stronger. You don't get multiple magic attacks. There you go, and now I've been leveled up. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go in, do our skills. Can't learn that one yet. Um, immune, reputation, poison. We're gonna get Vivify. I think Vivify is the most important thing to get here because there's only two of us. And Prim's kind of our main damage dealer right now. That if Prim goes down, I need a way to get her up. And sometimes it's it's better. I'd, I'd rather leave the olives for Prim and then use Vivify. Looky, a patch of water blooms. Where's the snakes? This must be the place. That is a pretty sight. Makes a makes a good bit us too. No one it's Seth's favorite. What an angel coming all this way here to pick flowers for her brother. <laughs> and there's the viper. And if ain't and if it. If and if you ain't just the fella I was looking for. It's hard to talk sometimes, guys. <laughs> Sorry to drop in unannounced. So you don't suppose you could sp you could spare nip a snake bite, could you? Oh. <laughs> oh no, don't get up. I'll halt myself. Well, now. <laughs> well shucks, if you insist. I love Alvin. Alvin's a, Alvin's a good lad. He's like my second favorite like personality. I'm pretty sure like for guys, like he's he's just like charmer. Like him and Tressa are like the most like naive perfect pairing, and I love him. <laughs> but let me give you a hand. Oh god, what are they weak to? I'm gonna try to deal with these smaller guys here. That didn't work. This might be a a miserable fight. I did save before I came in here, right? Could somebody let me know if I saved or not? I don't remember. Oh, I should have rehabilita rehabilitated. Oh no, that's not good. Um. Yeah, that's that's very much not good. Um, we might just have Alphan on healing duties. This is not the best setup of this fight. Yeah, we're gonna get Alphan to do healing duty. Luckily, at these low levels, it does like a fraction of your health, I think. Oh, that's gonna take Alphan down. Oh, this is this is gonna take Alphan down. Oh no. Um, we're gonna use a healing grapes on Alphan. So you can see at the side of their, um, that's gonna be the last poison because you see that there's a little bubble and the bubble has one turn left. So at the end of this turn, they're gonna be, oh, there you go. They're gonna be done with their poison. Really? Really? He was almost ready. He was almost good. <laughs> okay. bring your shade. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have Alvin. I that's way too much healing. It's fine. 
We say that Alphen to survive. Alphen survived, he's good. And then we'll just use his own healing. There you go. There you go, the weak to daggers. And then I'll just do that. Oh yeah, no, no venom, that's good. But they're going first, so that's not great. That's fine. So at full BP, it doesn't give you any advantages, so I would generally try to advise to stay away from that situation if you can. But, you know, it, it can be helpful. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal him. See if I had rehabilitate, I would be able to take off the the poison, but I think it's better just when somebody goes down that I have those options to get them back. Then we're gonna try to start chipping away at this guy's defense because we don't have any more SP for <sighs> No. Let's uh we're Prims will need this. And debuffs and buffs are stackable up to nine. There you go. There you go. This is fine now. We can we can totally win this. We're, we're gonna be okay. Oh, and she's also. I didn't realize they were weak to dagger. I guess it makes sense too, because you have you have dagger, prim, and you have dagger Therian. We're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna break him before the <laughs> that goes out because that's not gonna be good. But what we'll do is we'll just we're just gonna beat him with an axe a couple times. And then we're just gonna really, really wail on him with our... Uh, do I have... Ooh, I don't. Um, we're gonna use a soul stone. Oh, that was not enough. We're gonna lose this fight. <laughs> we're just gonna be having a fight. Nope, we lost fight. I really hope we saved. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I swear I'm good at this game, usually. <laughs> I promise I am. Okay, at least we did save. That's good to know. Okay. Let's just, um... Use that right now. And of course we're gonna skip through this because we already know what happens. One of these days I'm gonna get through. Therian's Therian's chapter always gave me an issue, so maybe we we're probably not gonna first try that. And if we do first try it, I'm just gonna call shenanigans and end the stream. I mean we're only going for an hour or more, but I'm definitely gonna call shenanigans and end the stream. Um Let's just get these two broken. That might be our best idea. Is to just Break them. Okay, Alpin, you're in healing duty. We're gonna break one, and then we're going to go straight into a full out night ode. I think that's gonna be a better choice. Well, you know what? We're we're actually doing pretty good health wise right now, so we might wait. We run around. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're gonna do a full on night ode. That will help to get through the broken one fast because it takes more damage. We're gonna need to get Alphen on healing. Alphen on healing. Uh, who do I need to go Bruce? We'll get we'll get him up. Because he has to heal. We're just gonna. We're gonna let Prim use this. <laughs> that means Alfin can go in. And then Prim can do a, her whole Night Ode, and then we can we can do big damage to the big viper. And there you go, I killed the other one. So we're good. Prim's gonna do a big Night Ode. And then we'll heal her up. 
because otherwise she's not going to be doing very good health wise so let's just get a first aid on her so this is why it's always good i think if you if you don't want to start with a if you don't want to start with a healer i'd say pick up a healer second i think i picked up a healer I didn't think of a healer. I had picked up a healing shrine before I picked up a healer, I'm pretty sure. So that was that was very unfortunate in my opinion. And then we're gonna do another big um night ode afterwards. Let's do let's do a good night ode. Night ode, bring your shade. There you go, so we kill the serpent in the back, we're free. We're gonna get Alpin to boost healing. And then we'll get Primrose to do uh, Midnight Waltz. Moonlight Waltz and Max on the Serpent, and that should do a lot of damage. And then Alpin can go in and poke at him. This is a. This is not going well. <laughs> But it's, it's better than the other one. Um, Alfin is gonna go healing on himself, and then Alfin can do healing on Prim. The cursor always resets on the first person in your party if it changes between turns. So that's good to know if you're trying to plan things out that you don't actually use it on the wrong person. We're gonna do two, and then we're gonna break. I think we're, we might be good to beat this. Um, I'm just gonna have Alfin. There's no like ranking in battles, so it doesn't really incentivize it incentivizes you to take your time. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I have enough. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be very close. Oh yeah, that was not um. Spitfire. This is gonna hurt. I probably... I, I Yeah, I probably should have... Defended there, but you know what? We're good. That was dumb. Um, let's first aid myself, just real quick. <laughs> I'm not making the best plays today. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. Planet. Humps the planet. We're fine. Oh, there you go. I think- I think this time going through, we're gonna- we're gonna have enough from Prim. There you go. We did it. I kind of wish that Alfin had had the final kill there because then in the final cuts when you're going through all the credits, you'll see him kill the boss. But you know what? I'd rather have that fight have just ended. I think we're good. Sorry, my hand slipped. He's only knocked out. He's fine. This guy's actually just knocked out. He's not dead. What's that? Take all the venom I need. And don't mind if I do. Hold tight, Nita. I'm on my way. Stuff that hurts. Nina. It'll be all right, Nina. Alf will be back any moment now. He'll never let us down. I, I know. And then after this, we're gonna take a little stretch break, guys. When the father died and left the two of us alone, I didn't know what to do. Oh, when father died. When the father died. I mean, that's, that's a fair statement too. <laughs> this is dad. The truth is, I don't think I'd be able to raise you and protect you on my own. But Alpha's always there to lend a helping hand. When he told me he wanted to study together and become an apothecary himself, he gave me the strength to carry on. He's always so humble, apologizing for being a burden on me. 
But there's the truth is, I'm the one who's relying on him this whole time. If I only I could be more like him. Alfin. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. <laughs> what a relief. Oh, Alfin, thank the gods you're safe. Venom, you really did it. Well now. <laughs> I trust you can take it from here, eh? Oh, awesome. I'll <laughs> Dang, I made him Canadian. <laughs> I'll consider it once. I lost the- I lost the Brooklyn. Hang in there, friend. There you go, now it's back. <laughs> now then. Man, I'm beat. I think I head home and catch a few wings. But where does Elfin live? Can you tell me? I think I ran into the inn last time I was playing, actually. I think I actually ran past this house. We're gonna take a short rest. I think that's a good time to take a little a stretch break while this plays out. Later that night. Not a good time to take a stretch break. I thought we were going to have a couple more minutes. <laughs> I wonder how Zeph is doing. I shouldn't worry. He'll be fine, like always. You know, I... You know, Zeph. I've given it all to be my best path carry I can be. To be more like you know who. But sometimes, I feel like I'm still so far away. Yeah, that's right. All it takes is a strip breeze for his... Let me try that one more time. All it would take is a stiff breeze to blow this bath backwater village right off the map. I cannot say that, so I'm gonna say it like this and pretend I have an accent. Maybe that's better. I don't think- I think- I think this is better. Okay. And yet, this is where I was born and raised, and where I learned my craft. It's got grouchy Gertis, who I ain't never seen smiling. Mel's got her act together, but she still needs a shoulder to cry on now and then. Gotta keep an eye on old Alex Cough too. And now you, Zeph. I've been giving you a hard time since the gods know when. You invite me to stay together with you under your father. I took care of the books after we went into business together. <laughs> right, <laughs> what was I thinking? I better stick around here after all. But not here. <laughs> I better go see how Zeph is holding up. Elf! Elf! The flame take me. It worked. Nina's feeling better by the hour. Good. <laughs> I knew it. With you on the job, was there ever any doubt? Thank you, Alfin, for everything. You, you saved my sister's life. How can I ever repay you? Don't even mention it. I helped out someone in a bind. Simple as that. Those words. still small and the great pestilence came father could cure every disease known to man but for the first time he was at a loss this is where you know who comes in then one day a traveler came to town bearing an elixir the likes of which you've never seen 
This is Elephant's turn for a flashback. Ever since that day, you've worked your damnedest to become just like your hero. To help people out. This is such a wholesome like story. Like, the idea of this story is so wholesome. And then you meet the guy and you're like... Is that how it went? Hmm. <laughs> Alfred? We've been together forever now. So I can tell... want to travel the world and help as many people as you can. Just like him. Daft, you know. But still, this is my home. I know you're a skilled apothecary, Seth. At least as good as, you know, probably even a little better than me. But I can't leave you to look after the whole village on your own. Besides, who else would cut your ego down to size? Ah, that's good old Alfin. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Good old Alfin. Do it all. Huh. <laughs> Don't you worry about anything. I'll see that the villagers are happy and healthy. I swear it on my life. So go out and see the realm out. Do it with your heart at ease and your head held high. Shucks. Guess what, Ma? I'm going on a journey. Time to see just how far my talents will go. I'm gonna save folks the world over, just like the man who saved me. Keep an eye on me, would ya? So we have one man who is... 100% concerned with saving every possible life he can, and then he's traveling with a woman who's like, I'm here to murder the three men <laughs> and anybody who stops me. Alf. Thank the gods you're still here. Oh, come on, Seth. I didn't ask for a going away party. Just a little present for the road. It's nothing special, but... I want you to take my satchel. That way, no matter how far you travel, I'll be right there with you. <laughs> wow. Uh, you weren't kidding when you said it's nothing special. <laughs> I love that line. It's so cheeky. <laughs> it was the only thing that came to me. I love how they're explaining why this why the sprites still have little satchels and they're like, yeah, they just gave they gave them to each other. Don't don't question it. They just have each other's satchels and they're the same satchel. I'll put it to good use, Alf. 
You you missed the best line. I'm sorry. You came in a bit too late. <laughs> Alrighty then. See you around. And so Alfin's gonna go off on his big adventure. Um, I am gonna take a little bit of a quick little stretching break after this. So just uh, encouraging people to get up every like thirty minutes, just like you know, stretch out, take a little, take a little walk, go get some more water. And so Alfin set forth on his journey to travel far and wide and ease the pain of the sick and suffering, just as one man once did for him. Little did he know what awaited him on his travels. Yes, a woman, again, who would I said that has a plan to murder everybody who gets in a way. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go save super quickly and then I'm gonna take a little, couple, little minute break. I'll be right back and then we'll pick up. I realized I didn't have my mic on. I hope everybody had a chance to uh, get up and stretch. I'm just gonna take a little sip of water and then we'll be get to go underway. How, do, how are people liking the game so far? Do have people have people seen this before or have they uh, are they new? And also, if you if you if you've been here, have you liked Alfin or Prim better or you know? Let's uh, let's carry on. Let's do some side quests. This is Meryl, the one whose love life is a disaster who we heard about in cutscenes. Say, would you mind laying me an ear? Something's happened I can't tell anyone else about. You see, I found a bottle floating in the river. Odd thing is, there was a letter inside. Want to know what it said? To my Meryl, I loved you dearly, but I had no chance to put you but had no choice but to put you in another care another's care i hope you've found happiness wherever life has taken you from far away your mother but i have parents right here in clearbrook i want to ask them about this but i'm scared of what they'll tell me why my friend do we have an inquirer for you so what i did there was that she didn't have any information but she'll uh She'll put a hidden item on the map, which is good because we'll get little things. So I'm just gonna go around and get all this, all these hidden items. They, well, the text is nice and like builds. Sorry, it has real building. It's not really important. I can let me. I'll read you this, guys. Oh, I don't. I don't alert him. Sorry. So this is the scholar. 
According to my research, the snakes inhabit in the cave of Raiho, be they large or small, can be locked into two with a few solid aspects of the axe. So this is revealing a weakness that they have. Uh, the nasty froggins that roam the roads will not go down so easily, but so long as one has the means to freeze the damnable things, one should muddle through somehow. So it gives you little information. Where's shiny? I saw shiny. Not so shiny anymore. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta ask Meryl's parents. Yo, what's up with the letter she got? Are you her real parents or not? Are you Nina's parents? And you'll get information through inquiry. So this is Mero's mother. A loving mother who cares for her daughter more than anything in the world. She's always there to encourage Mero wherever she's lost. This gives me a hidden item. Oh, I thought... Maybe I just have to talk to her? I'll talk to her. What's that old word? Okay. Yeah, confusing. Okay. Do I just talk to her? I thought I thought we were supposed to. I thought we were supposed to ask. Maybe maybe I'm just not uh, doing well. Are you her dad? Maybe maybe the boss, both parents. No, the scooters. Uh, that's some town gossip. The lonely grandchild. So this guy's important. Um, we'll find a grandpa on the road. And it's basically, he basically says, Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for my grandpa. I hope he's not getting lost. And his grandpa got lost. So we'll bring the grandpa to him. Oh, there you go. This is Meryl's father. I knew it was one too. So he has information. So let, let's just see what he says. Knowledge that Meryl's mother and father are not her birth parents. Oh my god! So we'll be able to go back to uh, Meryl with that information. So you see how I'm not, I can't, don't have an option. So that means that Elfin's not high enough level. So because he's a noble, he has to be high enough level to successfully accomplish the task. If I had Cyrus, who's the rogue version, um, it would say probably like 70% or like 60% to get that information out of her. Which means she probably has some pretty good information. Because otherwise it wouldn't be locked behind such a high threshold. So discount at the end. Discount means that in this town it's cheaper to be at the end. Inns heal your HP and SP. What do you have? It's an ill-fated time to be a fisher, I tell you. The plounder are disappearing from these waters. Gods only know why. How can I feed my kin if my nets come up empty? So, if we go to our journal, we go to side stories. We have to find a way to help the angler and also keeps track of these, um, these side quests that we have to do. But let's go back to Meryl because now we know that her birth parents are not her birth parents and I think that's some information that she deserves to know and that definitely you know will lead her on a quest to find her real mother which won't end in Boulderfell if I'm not mistaken and it's what's nice about this game too is you can you can collect this information before you talk and get the the side quest in which case once you have the first conversation with them you can be like oh yes here's the information you desire it's always better to like give them the information. Like there's no point of not giving them the information. What's this you saying? I wasn't, I'm not, you're saying I was not born here? But, but that can't be true. It, it, it can't be true. Here it is, my love. Father, mother. Forgive us, my dear. We should have told you long ago. It was 19 years ago. A woman came to her doorsteps carrying a small babe. With tears in her eyes, she told us the girl's name was Meryl and begged us to look after the child until she could return. We had no children of our own, though we longed for them. You were a gift from the heavens. But, but we waited for your mother to come back and claim you. But the weeks turned to months and the months turned into years. 
in the time we came to think of you as our own daughter. We may not be your flesh and blood, but we love you more than anyone in the world. And I love you too, mother and father. But I must find the person who wrote this message. Forgive me. But she might have answers and answers that I've long been searching for. Sorry, my brother just called for me. <laughs> Do what you must, my love. We shall pray that your flames guide your path. She thought I was I thought she thought I was actually calling for her. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Whoever put the bottle in the water must be somewhere along the river. I'll set out as soon as I pack my things. I will find the person who wrote the letter. I'll find the answers I seek. You know, good for Meryl. She she understands that her, her mother and father, her mother and father, but you know, she has to she has to go find out the person who who sent the letter? So we can't do anything for the angler yet. But, um, do people... Are people okay if we go get theory next? Or what, what are people thinking? I think we'll, we'll probably get to Therian's place and then we'll we'll wrap a bit early because I think it's gonna take us more than thirty minutes to get through his story. But I, I guess maybe we can we can go get the um the side quest from this place and then we can we can we can start by stealing everything next time. Bring it on. There you go. And then we can do this. And then we're just gonna night ode. Night ode. Bring your shade. The show is over. Okay, I'll leveled up. Let's go. But it's strange, the um th there should be some job shrines that we run into soon. It only makes sense. Want a tango, huh? I am ready. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay, the retox. <clears throat> So let's try to let's try to knight oats them and see how much damage that does. Bring your so the show is over. that's good. It wasn't it didn't do any breaking, but it made sure that we weren't hit. It dealt with them. Okay, Therian is over here. So let's go get Therian. What you got? I'm ready. Bring it on. Let's uh, hit that one because I'm going to attack Primrose, and then Primrose can do a big Night Odes, and then we can see if that will get rid of any of them. Bring your shade. Cool, I got whatever one. Bring it on. And then we can deal with him. <laughs> Try again. Quarry quest is trust is uh, one of Trust's places later. We don't have to worry about that, so we might stop by on the way back. But let's go to town. I hope I'm not wrong. I hope this lady theory and I have messed up. I'm ready. I don't get to go up. I think you, you're fine doing what you're doing. All right. 
Okay, good. And I'm just gonna knight oats and see if that's gonna help. Um, because the last one is um, a weapon, we know that there's no, they're not weak to magic, but this still might do some serious damage. Which might allow us to to finish them off, which is always nice. Perfect. Because where we got hit, it doesn't really matter if we get hit again. We're not getting the bonus, so that's why I didn't attack the one. I thought it'd be better to go full out on the on the one we were trying to break. Oh, I did not go the right way. Okay. Well, we're gonna get the trust chest, and then I think it must be up. Yeah, we go up and around. Okay, we'll go up and around then. Which is why I probably say we're gonna get there and then we're gonna stop stream. Because otherwise, we're gonna be here for a long time. Because Therian's chapter I struggle with. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's I just don't think I think it's well I think it's well balanced I just think it's I get impatient in the fight and I try to bridge force my way through it and we, we we've seen so far that I'm apparently not good at boss battles <laughs> switch we get to Hannah's Hannah's took me I think like two hours to actually be the first time I was playing but that's because I didn't understand the gimmick of it and if I had understood the gimmick of it I probably would have gone through easier once I understood the gimmick I was like oh yes I got this but I apparently just going all sorts of the wrong ways. Okay, well, let's uh, let's pretend I went the right way. <laughs> let's let's oh, we're just gonna we're gonna hit people with sticks. I'm surprised they're not weak to dagger at least because if Therian's around here, then I would assume that Therian would. Theory. I guess they're they're probably weak to swords, axes, and maybe maybe the club or the staff. There you go. I could run again. These guys don't really do much damage. I'm about to. I'll probably rest it and it in before before I before I sign off. So it doesn't really. Matter. Don't don't kill Prim though. Okay, we're good. And then we're just gonna, gonna hit this boy a couple times. Worst case is if he if he does take Prim down, Alphans going afterwards, and then we can just uh, bring him back. If your characters go down in the fight, they don't get any experience, so that's. That's unfortunate, but you know, it's not the worst case that can happen. It's the worst when it comes to a boss. Oh, there you go, Prim. Prim doesn't need to go to an end anymore. And yeah, I know I have the, um, the summon. Excuse me. I just don't think she's useful right now. Oh, let's, just, let's stop by for request while we're, while we're here, because then we can just fast travel here later. I'm And let's night ode, just super quick. Night ode, bring your and then we can just pop this play a couple times. Okay, nope, we're not going to Cory Quest because that is too too much. Let's head this way. Yeah, there you go. That's waterfall. I should have just kept going north. I should have probably should remember that, but that's fine. What's night oats? And then we can just bop one of these guys. And then we'll just break another one of them. 
And then hopefully when Prim does another Knight's Odes, that will take the, uh, the first one out with her. Oh, there you go. She took both of them out. So yeah, we're just gonna go north and we're just gonna go get Therian. I say Therian. So I've heard people say Tyrion. T it, I don't think it should be pronounced Tyrion, but you know, if you're one of those people, um, you can let me know I'm wrong. I will respectfully disagree with you, it's Therian. Unless enough people say it's Tyrion, in which case I will say it's Tyrion, because I, if most people are saying it, I should probably, I should probably look up on it. But I'm gonna say Therian. Um... But yeah, I think we're gonna get there. And then we're gonna end for the day. I should probably have been using an AoE, but that's fine. We're gonna... We're gonna save the AoE. I guess we- it- it's- it's okay, because... Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna do it now, because now we can boost it. And then hopefully, that's gonna take some people out. Oh, it took- that out and then hopefully Alfin can take this this guy out while he's there nope that's fine we're nowhere near losing so it's not like the boss fights earlier because that was oh there you go okay oh I realized I was blocking that person that whole time I'm sorry I'll I'll try to be more conscious when there's enemies maybe I, maybe I should move over there but then I'm blocking the minimap I'll just I'll just move when the combat demands um, but Elfin leveled up, so that's good. And then we're gonna go across, and then we're gonna get to Bordefell. What's over here? That's... Apparently, doesn't matter. That's good. Um, but yeah, let's get into town or another fight. Again, if these like if these um random encounters really bother you and you're playing, you can go get Cyrus. I'd recommend getting Cyrus first then, because then you can get evasive maneuvers, which is the just the passive ability that lets you minimize the amount of random encounters you get, and quite drastically, actually. Um, I think you end up getting like only one per screen, as opposed to like two or three per screen, depending on how many steps you're taking, which is good. Let's uh, let's dance here. There you go. Okay, we're almost at the end. He's just gonna be over here, and then we're gonna we're gonna save at the beginning of the town. I think I'm gonna go. I lied. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the chest first. Then we'll probably get some job points, and then we'll go to an inn, save up, and then we'll we'll, we'll go to an inn, heal up, and then we'll probably save, and then we'll call it a night. There you go. That's good. See, now we're getting stronger. It would be nice to get uh, Prim to level 10, but I'm pretty sure that will that will happen when we're grinding. Do people want me to get? I'll just get Prim to level 10 while I'm here, because then I'm I'll, then if I if I grind to level 10, then I'll I'll be closer to to nine. There you go. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. That one we picked up the uh, strong version of the sun. Really. Same weaknesses, but you know. Always get to double check. And if Prim levels up, then I don't have to heal up at the end too, which is going to save us a couple more money, a little bit more money. There you go, Prim leveled up. So we're just going to go into town. We're gonna do a job points and then we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna get bewildering grace for leveling purposes. Oh, and so what happened was I I cocked the movie got a support skill, the show must go on. 
Do I want Last Stand? No, we're gonna get Rehabilitate. And he got Inspiration, so let's equip Sports Skills. Such uh, augments you grant allies will just one additional turn, which is good for your Panther Dance. With this, each successful standard attack, gain SP equal to 1% of the damage you deal, which is good if you're just using him for a minor healer. Okay, let's get to the save point. Okay, we've saved. It's been 2 hours and 10 minutes. I think that's a good place to stop for today. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun. Uh, I will be picking this back up 8.30 on Saturday. And then again at 1.30 if you can't join us at 8.30. Uh, so thank you. Have a good night, everyone.